Hey guys, haven't been to Harbor Freight in a while. They um, knew that, so they sent me a 25% off coupon. And I was like, eh, I think I can find something in there that I would like to buy. So, these um, masks here, that's what Haley wanted to buy. And I think she got some, she wanted one of these white zip ties. So those are hers. I did buy two packs of 11 inch zip ties. I want to say I'm running low, so I went ahead and bought some. And then Haley's got another pack of white. That's everything that was in that bag. Go to this bag here. They had an inside track sale for the six inch spot so i bought one of those and i bought two of those so i'm gonna try those out probably put these on the forerunner somewhere on the roof rack is what i'm thinking and then went ahead and bought this for my smitty built winch this is a aluminum winch shackle mount so I've got to take a grinder and cut the hook off of the smitty belt and then pop that pin out, put the synthetic rope in there, pop the pin, put the C-ring in, then boom, she's ready to play. So got that. And then I got, I think, three pairs of these D-ring anchors. And then I did buy a Badlands soft shackle. And I believe this is what they took the 25% off. So I do have this little dry box here. I've, I bought this in the past, so I didn't get that from Harbor Freight today. Um, but I did get this out because uh, I think I'm going to put it somewhere on the Forerunner. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to do different things because from the latest beach trip that I took, I came up with some different ideas and I'm going to try to see which one would work best in the camping aspect of stuff. But if you're wondering about this Tacoma here, this is a buddy of mine. I attended it the other week and then he wanted my uh, knowledge of what to use for radiator coolant, trans fluid because this is a five speed manual and just different things like clutch fluid, uh, power steering, because these trucks take uh, just automatic transmission fluid. And then I always take like a turkey baster or something and suck up all the fluid, let it cycle, or I put new fluid in, let it cycle, then flush it out again. So I just, basically, I just take an old truck and then somewhat try to make it new. So that's what I'm doing with this here. But yeah, that's the stuff I got from Harbor Freight. I've been seeing these soft shackles for a while, and these things are not cheap. So I think they took $9.50 off of this. So it came out to be in like $27, $28 for the soft shackle. And everything else. I mean, all this here was, I want to say, under $100. So then this is a little blow up pillow that I got from Amazon um would take it out the bag but I only got one hand right now but you basically just like pop this cap in there and you can compress it and inflate the pillow it's not a huge pillow but for your head it's all you really need and it's just a little bit bigger than a coke can so I like that I don't like big pillows or anything Anything that's big and you're trying to camp is just an a burden to you. It, you're, you won't have fun camping. You've got to have lightweight, very small, compact stuff. And you're just, you really feel at home and in nature if you do that when you go camping. So...
Just did a radiator flush on this Tacoma here and check out the fluid that was in here. That's that bad shit. That's that, that green universal Pristone blah blah blah. That's exactly what you need right here for these old Toyotas. Get this and then a gallon of distilled water and that nine times out of ten does a radiator for these three fours. So hopefully you can see that it's green and then this radiator has some contaminants in it too so um, whenever you see like the top of the radiator a little bit faded that's a possibility that the radiator is kind of on his last limb but <clears throat> I'll tell the customer but um, this is just a hunting truck so pretty sure he's not gonna replace it unless if it actually breaks because I'll have to probably wouldn't reuse the fluid that I just put in there so I have to buy another uh, coolant and distilled water so that's 35 36 dollars and then the radiator is probably 250 so looking at around almost 300 dollars so might as well just run it for now but <clears throat> i did the clutch fluid uh power steering fluid and i ran out of this I only had this right here. I had a quart and a half, and for some reason that didn't do it. Uh, manual book says 2.2 .2 quarts, but I only drained out a quart and a half, so I thought I could do it, but I didn't, so I made an order. I got a gallon. That bitch right there was <laughs> like what it says, MT90, it was like 90 bucks, so. Uh, I had to get my pump pump the rest in there and then this truck would be ready to roll unless if he's got some other stuff that he wants me to do with it so let me do that and I'll be officially done with this Tacoma for now just got done taking the angle grinder to the hook on the smithy belt so I just cut twice and about a three-quarter of an inch space and then that comes off of this piece here so now all i have to do is take that snap ring out pull that pin slide it in reassemble and that should do it 